What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. And while I'm hearing sirens outside right now, <laughs> this is going to be fire signs reading. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, tap in. It's like sirens going off outside already as soon as I turn the camera on. That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Fire signs was good. Tap in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good shit. Okay? I feel like I know what them sirens about already, too. Just based on the cards that I pulled. I kind of already know what that's about. Okay? Um, but we're going to tap in fire signs. Okay. I'm going to show you the cards that I got. Okay. First card that I have out is the 10 of wands reversed. Got the death reverse. The king of swords of right. And the bottom of the deck is the devil. Okay. Oh, okay, I feel like fire signs. Somebody has a full blown obsession. Um, you hear those sirens? I feel like the sirens getting louder. I don't know if y'all can hear them or not on that side, but um, I just heard a dog bark too. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like this confirmation. Somebody has like a full blown obsession with like doing something to you. Like I feel like somebody's like out for blood if I were sign like real shit. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, I definitely feel like your ancestors been definitely like getting in somebody's ass, okay? Like real shit because somebody just won't stop fucking with you, okay? And this could be in the spirit. It's like somebody keeps trying to like send you this some type of energy they keep trying to like attack you and it's like every time they try to do this shit it's like they just take another loss and another fucking loss and another fucking loss and it's like they're obsessed with this shit because they want to get a win they want to defeat you they want to come out on top but that's just not how this shit is going to go that's not how it's meant to go because for one, with the Ten of Wands reverse, I feel like this is you. You've already released this person. Whatever this situation was that was stressful, it was too much to deal with. This person was too much of a burden or whatever the fuck this is. You released it. With the Ten of Wands reverse, you already let it go. Um, with the Ten of Wands reverse. And I feel like this was in the past. So you let this person go. You let go of this stressful situation. You release this person back to the universe, back to the most high. Um, the Ten of Wands reverse can also indicate like somebody who is so like burdened and stressed that they can't they can't deal. You know what I'm saying? This could be somebody on the verge of a collapse or a, a mental or emotional breakdown. Um, yeah, this is somebody who can't bear the weight of their own cross. I feel like this is somebody who's been doing something to you like energetically and it's every it's like it's been such a burden trying to do this or keep this going um to the point where it's like I don't know I feel like they've racked up a lot of karmic debt trying to do whatever the fuck this is and now it's too much to handle it's like they can't do it anymore they can't take no more karma like real shit I feel like this could be somebody it's like their financial situation has spiraled out of control it's like they're not in control of none of their obligations or responsibilities I feel like this is somebody who's just abandoning everything or they're just not giving a fuck anymore it's just like fuck it it's like they said fuck everything and they're obsessed with like trying to send you this energy it's like that's all they care about now because the rest of their life is in shambles, is fucked up. Their finances are out of control. They they can't bear the weight of their own cross for all this shit that they've been doing. They're riddled with guilt. It's just like it, it's like fuck it. I might as well just you know this is somebody who's just playing around with life. 
they play too much. They're not taking their life seriously. They're not taking their responsibility ser- responsibilities seriously anymore. They don't take their finances seriously. It's just like they don't give a fuck. The devil card here is somebody who just, they're just toxic. They're living this unhealthy lifestyle. They're drinking, they're ju- drugging, they're fucking. It's like they're just somebody who just don't care. It's like they just said, fuck it. Like, my life is just going to be whatever the fuck is going to be. Like, this is like somebody who's just, like, deciding to be homeless or I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this person. But I feel like the Ten of Wands versus, like, flogging a dead horse. It's like somebody's been trying to do something to you for so long and it hasn't worked yet to the point where now it's just, like, they're so tired it's just like because they didn't spend so much time obsessing and trying to do this to you and now it's just like and and still has yet to be successful in trying to do this at that and it's just like it's like they don't know what to do now the death card reverse here like this is somebody who's very resistant to change this is somebody who doesn't want something to end. They refuse to change. They refuse to transform. This person could be, they could be being forced into a spiritual transformation with the death reverse. Whether they like it or not, shit is changing. And and I feel like this is somebody who's purposely like, it's like they're purposely going against the grain or they're purposely deciding not to change or they don't want to change because the death card reverse can indicate like a lot of upheaval in somebody's life. This, this, this is somebody who, who could have experienced like so much upheaval, so much grief and so much loss to now they're mad at the universe to the point where they feel like their future is not bright at all. Or they feel like the universe is nothing the universe could bless them with that can replace everything that has happened to them at this point. So this is like somebody who's mad at the universe and that's why they're refusing to change, refusing to stop doing this. It's like they're taking taking their anger out on on the universe or they're taking that taking it out on God because it's not fair. They feel like it's not fair that they've had to take all these losses or 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 go through all this grief. And, and 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 sending you all these attacks and they're still not coming out on top like real shit somebody is just they're so resistant to change here with the death reverse and they still keep trying to do whatever this is or send you whatever this energy is this is somebody who tried to defeat you come for you and it's like no matter how hard they try it has never worked we got scorpio capricorn out here and then we got the king of swords here so we got the uh um Gemini Libra Aquarius the king of swords next to the death for some of you this could be a, a Libra Scorpio Cusper but yeah I feel like this is definitely somebody who's prone to playing mind games and I feel like this is somebody who wants to reach out or they wants to they want to say something to you with the king of swords here it's like they refuse to give this up it's like they will not rest until they're able to defeat you but it's like they've already ruined so much and lost so much it's like crazy that they still want to keep trying to do this shit it's like somebody here has lost their mind like the devil energy here they racked up so much bad karma their responsibilities their stress their burdens and shit are out of control so they're just like fuck it you know what i'm saying it's like i can't i can't do anything about this i can't change this it's like so now it's just like they're just obsessed with trying to defeat you. Or I don't know what this is with this King of Swords where they want to say something to you or talk to you about something. Because something here didn't work out in their favor. Yeah, look. As soon as I open the deck, tears of a clown. <laughs> I don't know what this person's obsession is with like trying to take you down or take you out or something here. Like This could be somebody who likes to break people down this could be some sort of narcissist it's like this person want to annihilate you you know they could have already put you in some type of compromising position but it it never worked or you bounce back from it you know what i'm saying it's like whatever this person tried to put you through or whatever they try to do to you or whatever try to attack they tried to send you it's like you've already overcome it so it's just like you keep you bounce back every time you land on your feet every time and this person does not understand 
how you keep doing this. <clears throat> yeah, this is somebody, they just want to get rid of your energy. They want to really eradicate and annihilate you, make you disappear. I feel like they've been trying to do this shit for a long time. And the only thing that has been happening is they're, they've been the one taking losses. They, they're the one that's grieving loved ones and shit now because all these attacks that they've been trying to send you. And now it's to the point where they're obsessed with this shit. Because they basically pretty much lost everything or their life is fucking ruined now. Or it's like their life or these burdens and responsibilities that they have are so out of control. It's like they don't give a fuck no more. It's like, yeah, somebody can't bear the weight of their own fucking cross. They did this shit to themselves. But somehow they feel like you should be responsible for this or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I said so far the only energy that I got out here is death reverse or this could be your ass you know what I'm saying but the death reverse Scorpio energy king of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius and the devil which is Capricorn so let's see fire signs says overflowing it says wants what they can't have goes after a pipe dream delusional entitlement mentality feels like things are never enough so yeah i told you this is somebody who feels entitled to your energy this could have been someone who was siphoning your energy they were stealing your energy um this is somebody who thought that they were going to live off of you energetically forever like real shit like Somebody thought that they were going to be able to siphon your energy or use your energy forever. And now that they no longer have access to you, their whole world has filled the fuck apart. Like real shit. It's like they need your energy. It says overflowing. Wants what they can't have. So they want you, but they can't have you. Um, it says goes after a pipe dream. Delusional. So this is somebody very delusional and they have an entitlement type of mentality. They feel like they just deserve to have whatever the fuck they want, even though they refuse to change. They don't want to put in no work. They don't want to do right. They don't want to pay off their karmic debt. They don't want to take accountability. It's like, I don't know who the fuck somebody, who the fuck do this person think they are? Like real shit. And it's like no matter how the universe or how the most high God still tries to help this person, it's not good enough. That's why I said the death reverse energy, this person's taking so much, they've taken so many ills, so much grief, so much loss that they feel like it doesn't matter what the universe gives them. If they can't have you, it'll never be good enough. Like somebody here is delusional. Devil energy here. Crazy. And it says, it says half empty. It says believes they can believes they can't have it all. A lack mindset, always looking at the glass is half empty and woe is me attitude. So yeah, this is somebody. They're a Debbie Downer. They're very pessimistic. They're always negative and low vibrational and shit. It's like that's why they can't manifest nothing. You can't manifest anything from that low vibration, from that low frequency. It's just like, what is this? somebody out here is delusional as fuck? But yeah, we got two faced. It says pretends, pretends in order to lead others on, untrustworthy, insincere, playing a game with others' emotions, strings others along. So yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's two faced, fake as fuck. It's like they try to string you along or play with your emotions. Like this is what this person did to you in the past, and you completely dead at them like you you piss a fire sign off they will if you really hurt a fire sign they will cut you off like you never fucking existed and i feel like this is what you did with this person because they were really on some like fake phony ass shit like real shit then it says stoic it says appears cold-hearted but has deep emotions and feelings afraid to show how they feel runs away to protect themselves so yeah this could be somebody who ran away from you or they ghosted you after playing in your face and shit 
and then it's like this is somebody who tries to act cold-hearted or stone-faced like they don't feel anything for anyone oh but this person has deep feelings for you they definitely feel some type of way about you good or bad like real shit but this is somebody who's fake as fuck untrustworthy and insincere Yeah, this is somebody you definitely don't respect because they 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 did too much. It's like, come on, man. Like, why are you doing all of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to do all of that. Just get the fuck on somewhere. It says never after. It says regret regrets marrying the person they are with. Should have trusted their instincts, living in regret and wants to leave but has difficulty. Yeah, so they're stuck and trapped somewhere that they don't want to be, where they don't want to be. I told you their life is ruined. That they're living with somebody or they married somebody that they can't stand, that they don't like, that they feel like ruined their life. They were being fake as fuck with you, playing some type of weird ass mental games and shit, and it backfired. Now they're stuck, stuck over there with that bitch or they're just stuck in life, period, refusing to change because they've been taking ill after ill after ill and now their fucking life is a goddamn shit show. And they're trying to blame you for it. <laughs> it's like... It's like they're blaming you because you're the one who cut off access to your energy. You blocked this person or you moved or you left or you just basically you you dead at they ass. Like it's like you're dead to me, bitch. I don't think about you. I don't talk to you. I don't mention you. I don't do anything in regards to you. It just is what it is. And that shit is dead and over with. And this person feels some type of way, boy. Woo. And then it says dating fiasco. It says regrets engaging in a short or long-term relationship with a partner. Long-term ramifications should have known better. Yeah, they should have trusted their instincts and, and, and fucked with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like if they had to choose between you and someone else, they probably, if they could go back in time and choose between you and somebody else again, they would choose you versus that person that they chose. But that's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because this is the king of swords here. This is somebody who probably thought they could outsmart you. doesn't have to be an air sign, but they're showing up in, in that um, king of swords energy. It's like they thought that they could outsmart you. <laughs> but, I mean, they end up losing in the end. Yeah, and then it says pain principle on the bottom of the deck. It says gets off on others' pain, suffering, enjoys seeing people fail or not succeed. Likes to feel su superior as if they're winning. Yeah, I told you, this is somebody who feel like they can outsmart you. It's like they wanted to see you hurt. They wanted to see you suffer. They got some type of enjoyment out of that. Like, this is a sick bastard. It's like they enjoy people. See they enjoy seeing people suffer in general, but especially you, fire sign. It's just like they got off on that shit. It's like, I don't know, this person's jealous of you or something. It's like they wanted to see you in pain, wanted to see you suffer. They were enjoying that. They enjoy seeing other people in pain and suffering and shit. Mm. It likes to feel like they're superior. That entitlement mentality is like, bitch, who are you? Like, you're a, a, you're nobody. You're nothing. And you never will be. It says no pity party. Does not feel bad for others if they are going through emotional, personal, emo. Wait, what? It says no pity party does not feel bad for others if they are going through personal emotional issues, dismisses other people's pain. So, yeah, this is somebody who's very dismissive of other people's pain, emotions, experiences, especially yours. Like on some type of sick ass level, whatever this person feel did to you of uh, fire sign, they may feel like you deserve this. Like they feel like you deserve some type of hate or pain that they brought to you. It's like, bitch. Whatever the fuck this is, they need they motherfucker. They look. Okay. It's like they asking for it. Okay. I mean, but your ancestors already been standing on business. That's why this person is so obsessed and they're so mad. They're so angry. Like this is deep seated grief, deep seated loss with the death card. Cause that's a major arcana. Like for, for some of you, this person was already damaged when you met them. And I mean, like that should have been these issues that this person has should have been addressed a long time ago, even before you met them. But I feel like after meeting you, it only made shit worse because you could be in some sort of type of like earth angel energy. You know what I'm saying? So you could have been brought into this person's life as a as a test 
to see if they were going to change their ways, is see is to see if they were going to go through that death transformation to become a better person. And I feel like they still resisted it, even after meeting you. It's like they tried to cause some type of pain towards you instead of realizing that you were there to heal and help them. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who experienced a lot of grief and loss in their lifetime. Like, real shit. And instead of recognizing that you were an earth angel to them, you were meant to help them or heal them or help them go through this death energy, you, you were going to be support a support to them while they went through this transformation. And instead of recognizing you as somebody who was an ally and that was going to be on their team, it's like they chose to cause you or bring you some sort of pain. They wanted to see you suffer. They wanted to see you hurt. You know what I'm saying? They could have been jealous. I don't know, because I'm picking up on Earth Angel energy for sure. But it's like their life, they, they, this person came from like a rough beginning is what I'm feeling like. That's what spirit is telling me. This person came from a rough beginning. You know what I'm saying? I feel like their childhood was very difficult, um, very impoverished, or they grew up in a hard neighborhood or whatever the fuck the case may be. But still, it's just like being, when they met you or crossed paths with, with you was an opportunity for them to change, but they didn't take it. It's like... They wanted to hurt you for some reason. Like, I don't... Something's wrong with this person. Like... Yeah, look at that Ace of Swords. And that's the truth. But it's like, that's the worst thing they could have did. Like, some... If you have a hard life, you have such a hard life. You know what I'm saying? And God blesses you with an earth angel who can help you change your life around. But it's like you spit in God's face and be like, this earth angel ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Sometimes you're like mad at the most high because of their life. But like I said, I feel like you cross paths with this person to help facilitate change within them. To help them transform. To help them with the transition to, to come out on the other side after they go through this death energy. But it's like instead of like recognizing that it was an opportunity to change i feel like they tried to hurt you or harm you or they tried to damage you and i'm telling you this could definitely be some type of narcissist where it's just like this could be somebody who has some type of hatred for earth angels or chosen ones people who believe in god it's like they like to like damage people's spirits like it's like they hate believers they hate people with faith and optimism like it's like they tried to kill that within you it's like they tried to kill your light it's like they try to turn you dark or bitter Mm -mm, let's see fire signs what the fuck but it's like now they're suffering for it now their life is their life is way worse than it was before you even crossed paths with this person like i said this person already had a lot of hardships a hard upbringing and shit but then when they crossed paths with you and tried to do whatever they did to you oh man they just made their life 10 times fucking I mean, uh, 50 times fucking worse than it already was because they never shouldn't have did that shit. Yeah, the nine of pentacles reverse. This could be a Virgo. Yeah, now this person's sitting up heartbroken and shit. Three of swords with the nine of, um, or this could be a Libra, Virgo, Cusper. With the three of swords with the nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who, this is a user. This is somebody who's fake as fuck. Um, they're broke as fuck. This is somebody who likes to live above their means with the nine of pentacles reverse. They like to use people to get ahead. They like to rub elbows and be involved with people that are like, who who have money, who has status, or who just has more than them, period. Um, yeah, this could be a sex worker, somebody who sleeps around for money or you know, they don't mind selling their soul. Very insecure. This is somebody very codependent as well. They don't have no independence about themselves. They don't know how to survive on their own. 
And I mean, the nine of pentacles reverse can be a thief as well. And somebody who's just fake as fuck. And they got the nerve to be sitting up acting heartbroken and devastated and shit for what? When you be causing all this pain and havoc and chaos to other people's lives, you have the audacity to be sitting up acting like you so hurt with the three of swords? Bitch, please. Let's see. Fire signs. you queen of cups mm -hmm. look at you and that divine feminine energy i feel like y'all heavy on the self-care here uh fire signs you can have uh water in your 